Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example of how to find the inverse Laplace transform of a function in the frequency domain. So we rewrote the function like this. Now we're going to write it as follows. We're going to use the partial fractions technique to solve the problem. So this can be written as a over s plus 1 plus bs plus c over s squared. Now we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator s squared times s plus 1. So we can see on the left side we get s minus 1 is equal to here. This becomes a s squared plus b s plus c times s plus 1. Simplifying this a little bit by getting rid of parentheses, we get s minus 1 equals a s squared plus b s squared plus b s plus c s plus c. Now we're ready to try to find a, b, and c. First of all, we don't have an s squared term on the left, we have two of them on the right, which means 0 equals the two coefficients a plus b. We have a s term on the left, and we have two of them on the right, which means that 1, which is the coefficient of this s term, equals b plus c. And finally, we have a negative 1 here, and we have a single constant term, which means minus 1 equals c. Since c equals minus 1, we can very easily find b. Using this equation here, we have 1 equals b minus 1. Move that across, we get b is equal to 2. And finally, if b is equal to 2, then a must be equal to minus 2. Now we have the values a, b, and c which means that our function can now be written as a, which is minus 2 over s plus 1, plus b s plus c. Now b is a 2, that means 2s plus c, which is a minus 1, divided by s squared. This, I can take the inverse Laplace transform of, but here I still have a problem. However, since I have two terms in the numerator and only one term in the denominator, I can actually write that as two separate fractions. So I can say that f of s can be written as minus 2 times s plus 1 plus 2s over s squared minus 1 over s squared, which means I can simplify this term by canceling this and this s. Now I'm ready to find the inverse Laplace transform the inverse Laplace transform of minus 2 over s plus 1 plus 2 over s minus 1 over s squared is as follows. First of all, I have an s plus 1, which means I need an e to the minus t term in there. I have a minus 2, so minus 2 e to the minus t term times u of t if you want to write that. So let's go write it for now. So that would be u of t. That's a unit step function, which is equal to 1. This here will be plus 2 times 1 over s, which is 2 times the unit step function. And minus 1 over s squared, that minus, that would be, uh, let's see, just simply t. And depending upon what problem you're working, you may not want to write u of t because you know that's equal to 1. So you could simplify it and write as minus 2e to the minus t plus 2 minus t as the final answer when you're looking for the inverse Laplace transform of this original function in the frequency domain. And that's how it's done.